Given we're having a rare snowfall here in Victoria, British Columbia, I thought mm, I should make a snowplow for my locomotive real quick. This is the only sheet of scrap metal I have left. It's not very big, but I've jotted out a few ideas. It's coming along. So far, so good. Measuring first, holding it in a vise and whacking away with a hammer. I mean, it's not pretty, but I'm now 20 minutes in. 20 minutes in, and now i got to figure out how to mount it on there. Hmm. An hour and 40 minutes later, voila. Does it look pretty? Well, I did have to uh, drill through the deck there. I did have to move this so I have an extra hole there. It is solid. I mean, it's, it doesn't move at all. It feels solid. So there you go. Snow in Victoria sometimes lasts literally one day, and that's it for the whole winter. So uh, this is a rush job, very, very rush job. I'll tidy that all around these things and, and all that later, and, and I'll paint it. But now, no, 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 I'm not going to paint anything. I'm going to get out there <laughs> and try it. Well, it worked. I couldn't use my phone at the same time. I'm by myself, but I had to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But it took a while. So now if I wait a little while for the snow to get another centimeter or two of snow on the track, I'll run the engine again. Oops, oops, snow came down on the track, oops. Turn up the power, there you go. Hi, cold doggy, how are you? Yeah, you out to see the train too? The snow plow was a success. I think I'll put on an extra rail car. Henry, why don't they put windows in these carriages for when it snows? Oh, I don't know, Marge. Maybe. Maybe it's because they're cheap. Well, this has been fun. I think it's time to go in the house now for a nice warm cup of tea. Oh, Henry, a drop of tea does sound good. I agree, Marge. I think we should go get one forthwith.